We're at three starting this year. Drones will have to be, to be registered much like cars. The government will require them to have a remote ID, sort of like a license plate. And it's opening up a new avenue for drone-related businesses. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd explains why. Well, Darcy here always wanted to be a pilot, but due to sensory issues related to autism, she was never actually able to get in the cockpit, but that still didn't prevent her from taking flight. So it was always a dream of mine, and this is kind of a way that I get to experience that, um, achieve that dream, and uh, it's just as fun. You're still flying. Yeah, still flying. You're just not in the plane. Yeah, right. it's probably safer. My mom is, is much happier. <laughs> but just flying a drone was never enough for Darcy Ruani. She wanted to make an impact in the aviation industry. My experience in commercial aviation is that it was dominated by, by males. And um, so I just wanted to see a change. So Darcy founded the company ROC Aviation Services helping companies with drones meet the ever-evolving roles and regulations of the FAA. Companies that have fleets uh, that do land surveillance, uh, geospatial mapping, they have to gain uh, design approvals, production approvals, um, compliance certification in order to move forward, and so that's what we're doing. You're living with autism while you run this company. How much of an inspiration uh, do you hope you can be for others living with autism? Um, huge. Uh, that is something that's so dear to my art. Darcy never looked at autism as a challenge, more like an asset. I have a form of spatial intelligence and synesthesia, which allows me to um, basically visualize complex systems in my mind. Darcy's business partner, Jocelyn Pritchett, says Darcy's unique understanding is helping their company soar to new heights. She can say, well, this is the way my autistic brain sees this, and so that's why I'm approaching it like this, and it just makes perfect sense to me. In Tampa, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.